Good morning, friends. They say you should never meet your heroes, but that's exactly what I'm doing today. In a way, kind of. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> driving up to Bridgeport, Connecticut uh, to meet up with uh, Nick Murray and a couple of other uh, car enthusiasts for a huge uh, winter car meet. To those of you who don't know, and I'm sure many of you do, uh, Nick Murray is a pretty famous and interesting YouTuber uh, who got me kind of inspired to do this thing, which is what I'm doing. Uh, so I want to go up there and kind of shake his hand and thank him for inspiring me and helping me throughout the way. I, on numerous occasions, I actually reached out to Nick when I had equipment questions, microphone questions, uh, general idea questions, and he was always, always very helpful. So I want to thank him for that. Uh, and also, like I said, uh, kick it with some car people and see some really, really interesting cars. So funny thing happened. Uh, on my way up there, I'm, I'm 30 minutes away, uh, I bumped into this other YouTuber, Glenn's Car Collection. He's actually right behind me. I was following him and another cool car right in front of me. So I'm pretty sure all these guys are going to the same event. Small world. Glenn, if you're watching it, it's a clean looking car. All right, so we just pulled up, and I think it's Nick who's opening the door. Let's see. There's Glenn from Glenn's Car Correction in front of me. Oh no. Yeah, this is him. Nick Murray. I know, I know you like you like the blue and you like black wheels. So oh, that's, this is the best combo. <laughs> this ever. is the best combo. Get this, get this machine in there. <laughs> Thank you. So you, you hang a right uh, and park next to the the other Porsches in there. Okay. Yep. All right. Sounds good. First BMW. Awesome. First M. Fantastic. First M. Nice. Very good. Thank you. I can't imagine you scrape very often. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Got scratched to shit. Did it really? Yeah, yeah. Because actually mine doesn't have a clear Just bra. Fine. Yeah, well, you're probably more careful than I, I don't am. Know. I don't know. I'm a bit of an animal. If you had to put a finger on it, what's your favorite car in the facility? Well, you know, that's my baby over there, mm -hmm. that hot seat. It's a Chevrolet clutch in it. The engine runs real good. There's no head. It's uh, all the valves come out through the top, top of those caps. 
and the block is all one piece. So we got little stuff in here, like there's a little refrigerator back there to keep some cold drinks. <laughs> oh wow! In. And then spare tires in here. Hmm. <laughs> and some luggage and whatnot. And what is that tank in the inside? Is that the gas tank? Tank with a valve. So that we can go from the main tank to the auxiliary tank. Okay. Hudson always had a, a long tail like this. And they always had a mechanic sitting back from the driver. See that? That was one of their... Oh yeah, look at that. I never even noticed. And what is the top speed of this, he would say? I, you know, I never took it over... I never took it over... 75. Got it. If you need a co-pilot, I don't pee, I don't sleep, I'm a good driver. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It's a, it's a great, great car. They don't make them like that anymore. Oh no, this is so yes. much fun. And uh, every half an hour, we, we can only take so many groups uh, per turn, so every half an hour we'll be running them in that back area. I know this is a very highly uh, collector car that we have. This, trailer, this was the very first car sold on Bring a Trailer. E30 M3, such a beautiful car. And those things are holding it, they're actually climbing in value. Yeah, now. climbing in value, yeah. So this has become a highly collector car. We've got our own machine shop here that we can fabricate anything that we need. We do all, all our work. So I'm going to use some of the cars we're currently working on right now. This is a 61 Impala. Uh, we're rebuilding the engine. Um, the, when we go upstairs, I'll, I'll show you to the actual engine. It's, what's unique about it is we believe it's the first 409. We're, we're trying to get confirmation of it, but it's the, it's, it's the first Chevy 409 engine. We try to make the engine come out looking as it did when it first was made, painted with all the GM paints and everything like that. We'll go over the, we'll go to the body shop, show you some of the paint products we've done there. Like that. This one is currently, it's in primer. We've just been working on it the last couple of weeks. It's a 69911. Um, so that is going to be uh, set to paint, I believe, this week. The roads of paint stripe on this was hand painted. And if you could try to find a spot where you can't tell that it's straight, I, uh, I'm always surprised at how well that came out. This is where we do all the, our engine work. And this right now is the um, that 409 engine that the Impala was showing us. So that's this has been all rebuilt. Now, 
I cannot do a burnout like this. Is that okay? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Thank you for having me. Bye bye. Yeah, I can't. I can't match that. All right. So I just left after being there for about two hours or so. Uh, I met some cool people. Uh, I saw some beautiful cars. Some of them really, really expensive. And uh, I got a chance to uh, meet and, uh, and talk to, uh, to Nick, uh, who's a really nice guy, despite what you people say about him. Uh, Nick, if you're watching this, thank you very much for organizing this. Black Horse Garage, thank you for hosting. Uh, thanks to, uh, to everyone who came out. And most importantly, thank you for watching this video. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you are a fan, give me thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. So I've discovered a new feature in my horn. So it looks like my, uh, my horn fluid is low and it chimes at half the volume of the usual horn, so I think I'm gonna have to take it into the dealer and have it fixed. Oh yeah, and that's brake squeal. And yeah, I just started from the second gear. What's wrong with me?